hi everyone and welcome to a new episode maybe so last time we kind of saved you the day again tales was gone and now this is uh, some kind i want to say event but in the same time it's a trailblazer mission so i really don't know how to categorize this but in the meantime we deal with the process who and a process young king will get to keep his butt again and other moments like Yukong emotion moment and yeah of course I have to spear some of these quests because I try to do the main story in other eyes because consider that I have to juggle so many games it's not gonna be easy for me so I have to really be picky what I have to recall so yeah this is supposed to be the last chapter so yeah we're gonna skip to all that I'm looking at the reply. See? Here. Miss Hanya said she's on her way. It appears we are all present. The spirit bearers who were supposed to report to Huo Huo mentioned they didn't see her today. I'll get straight to the point. I have no idea where Huo Huo may be. However, if we combine our efforts, we may be able to piece together some clues. Each of you are close to Huo Huo. Did you notice anything unusual about her yesterday? As I for her tail? Yeah, Miss Wawa has been trying to track down Tail, in addition to helping the squad, that is. What if Huawa came across a lead today? Something that sounded like Tail's doing. Knowing her, she's probably gone looking for him. You may know her for a day or two. And yet, she didn't come to any of us for help. That's not like her. Given the type of person she is, if she did have any clues, she would seek out our help. If she hasn't shared anything with us, it means there is only one possibility. Correct. And I think I might know who the culprit is. Cirrus. The only one who may have knowledge of Tail's whereabouts is Cirrus. Whose plans were foiled due to Tail's actions. Even if Cirrus doesn't know where Tail is, given the shared history, they wouldn't hesitate to cause trouble. Let's go. We must try to squeeze some answers out of Cirrus. New quest started. Foxian dreams. Ah, yes. The Foxian beauty. Okay, where to go? Well, well, insects who don't know when to quit. I sense you have questions. Go on, ask away. Hua Hua is missing, and I'm willing to bet you know something about it. How careless. <laughs> your companion vanishes right under your noses, and you fail to notice. Why am I the one you're pestering? The Ten Lords Commission might not be able to completely eradicate the Helio by, but we have plenty of ways of dealing with them. Ooh, how threatening. <laughs> Save your breath. I know your tactics. Let's cut to the chase. I do know something about it. I knew it! Believe it or not. While you were distracted, she came and found me. 
She asked me if I knew where Mr. Tail was, and I simply gave her a clue. She searched high and low, but came back empty-handed, of course. If only you could have seen her expression. Simultaneously terrified and desperate to know more. <laughs> Utterly hilarious. I know she's in opposition of kid, but I really, really want to punch her. Or maybe she's in the lamp? To be honest, I mean, that's all why they are using kids. Like, couldn't you use those or, you know, have just the lamp? I mean, I guess you want to have it, some kind of body to communicate, but come on. In the end, I became fed up with her constant nagging. I told her that her beloved tail had splintered and been reduced to an ember without a single memory. You should have seen her face! <laughs> I started feeling sorry for her. Liar. Out of pity, I told her that her tail was hiding in Cloudford, preparing to flee the Sienjo on a star skiff. I also told her that the Ten Lords Commission was in the process of recapturing all the Heliobi. If she were to turn to you for help, Mr. Tail would be imprisoned. Even if she managed to find him. Looks like she took the bait. Lies! You can't possibly know where Tail disappeared to. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But I have no doubt about one thing. My friends are ready and waiting for her in Cloudford. You should have faith in your friend. Perhaps while well, uh, safe and sound. Perhaps she managed to subdue the Heliobi. If you rush to Cloudford, there's still a chance you might find her. Not good. Let's head to Cloudford quickly. The paperwork will have to wait. I'm coming with you. Oh, we get to use her. Oh. I so want to punch you. The moon shines on the truth. These things don't feel like it because they are somehow can exist for years and years, but let's be honest, I bet the Ten Longs Commission has a their way to you know tell them down to say anyway, where to go. Oh no 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 no. Hold on. Let me take a look at her. She's unresponsive. It looks like a Heliobus has taken control of her mind. This isn't just a Heliobus illusion. It's a complete sensory barrier. Cutting off the individual from the outside world. In this case... Even the harmonic chime won't work. This isn't something the healers at the Alchemy Commission can handle. I'll take Huo Huo back to the Ten Lords Commission. Perhaps they'll have an answer. As for now, I'm temporarily suspending the activities of the Ghost Hunting Squad. But... The situation has changed completely. Without the assistance of a judge, continuing would place all of you in grave danger. Defeating the purpose of the squad. But Miss Hanya, this is to save our friend. I know. I understand. But please, let the Ten Lords Commission deal with this. We'll find a way to extract this Heliobus from Huo Huo. Miss Hanya, tell me straight. Does the Ten Lords Commission actually have a solution? <laughs> Yeah, Cirrus is bound to know what this Heliobus is up to. No, we shouldn't do what they expect us to do. They've been manipulating us from Fixtral Garden all along. We need to find out what they really want before we go any further. We are not completely out of options. 
It might be possible to use another Helio bus to drive out the one that seized Wohua's mind. But why would a Helio bus ever want to help people? Wait, Miss Hanya, do you mean to say that? Huh? I've been keeping tail here all along. Are you kidding me? You have him all this time at you? I thought he's gonna be a grain returning, but you just have him in your pocket. Wait, do you have pockets? What? Don't look so surprised, young lady. Since when did you cut him? has been worried sick trying to find you and now something else has got after her you flaming verbal what the heck is going on did you know about this the whole time miss hanya as per our rules any free roaming heliobus must be sealed away i was merely following protocol besides it was tail who requested this <sighs> It's a long story. Okay, let's hear. I only recall a moment during that fateful night when my consciousness was on the verge of shattering into a million pieces. Time stood still. I watched myself parting from Ignamar, drifting without purpose. Then, before I knew what had happened, the girl had retrieved me, and a judge of the Ten Lords Commission had sealed me within a tail. I believe you humans call this kind of thing an end-of-life experience. But why would a Heliobus experience one of those? Ridiculous. Since I'd slipped the leash, I thought I might as well change bodies and savor a bit of freedom. But then... Lucky for you, you met me. <sighs> My luck took a sour turn when I ran into this demoness. <laughs> I mean, judge. <gasps> Demon? When I was with Hua Hua, she constantly rant about me, whining about all the problems I'd caused her, how I'd ruined her life. <laughs> uh, it was only after I vanished that she realized she'd taken my power for granted. I wanted to hear her cry about it. So, in a fit of anger, I had this demon, a judge, imprison me in the gourd. Man, now I want to pull for her, but in the same time, she's in the pool with the other guy. Man, sometimes I hate when they do this, like, you clearly want this character to be in the same banner, but you just separate them. I'm not gonna pull for that guy at all. Just by the teaser, I already hate him. But that's gonna be for another day. Maybe I'm gonna get her one day in the gacha. You had had your wish. Now, I'm offering you a chance to regain your freedom. Not by letting you go, but by going back to the way things were. Do we have a deal? <sighs> Can I trust you, Tail? Ugh. Of course, we're pretty much co-workers at this point. <sighs> so, all I have to do is possess Hua Hua and take out those other pesky Heliobi, right? Time to give this heedless creature a reality check. Not ready? <laughs> I'm the one doing the possessing here. Ugh, fine. As a courtesy, I'll wait. So I, see when you're ready. So yeah, I wanted kind of to take a picture first of Tails. I'm gonna give this heedless creep. <laughs> it's exorcism o'clock. Uh I may build Kafka. Where... Where am I? Tail? 
Are you here? Oh. I feel like I've been possessed. Tail, is that you? Oh, no. No, it can't be him. Tail always said only the most privileged are worthy of being his host. Stop overthinking, Haha. What should I do now? What's she? Mom? Oh. Is this an illusion? Mom, what are you doing here? I've missed you so much. Stay back. Don't come any closer. I don't know who you are. But you're not my ho ho. Keep that filthy thing you're carrying away from me. She has a system? <sighs> Is my sister okay? The farther you stay away from her, the better. I'm sorry, Hua Hua. Your father and I had no choice but to send you to the Ten Lords Commission. Oh, she has a father too. It's best if you pretend we never existed. for you I can't stand people who do that I I'm not trying to make you feel sorry for me I heard your parents don't want you anymore you should be the one feeling sorry we shouldn't be talking to a monster anyway let's get out of here Monster. Man, she is gonna become the baby of the fandom agency. Oh, she has a seal. Ah, I did not use that detail. <laughs> what should I do? Oh, hey, Tails. I see now. You're leaving me too. <laughs> Everyone always leaves me. I don't want to be alone. Not again. I haven't left! Please, Tail. No more words. I can't bear to see you fade away. Are you a judge or not? This Heliobus is distorting your perceptions. Get a grip. Resist them. They've all gone. All abandoned me. All gone. Just watch me. I'll drag them all back. Huh? Really? Really, we're gonna get.
Let's bring this one back. Oh my god, we control an NPC. I'm gonna give them a, a credit because you are they actually make a special kind of skin colorful. Right? that you pretend mom and dad are no longer here how can your own flesh and blood be so heartless these humans i don't know why but i feel like the thumbnail is gonna be hulk models everyone to ignore her yeah oh, the behavior of these brats is astounding shards being your shadow for all those rotten years it's about time i had some good luck i thought about getting out of here but uh, i couldn't shake the feeling there was something wrong so i came back to see if you could manage on your own or if you were still a scary cat i'm sorry i guess i still am no you're selling yourself short you're daring. How you had the courage to do something so dangerous amazes me. It's not bravery you lack, but sense. Huh? What other choice did I have? I suspected that Cirrus was deceiving me, but the thought of losing you forever was... Uh, unbearable. Forget about all that. I'm here now. But... Did everyone really leave you because of me? Well, 
since you put it like that, I suppose I have nothing to feel guilty about anymore. <laughs> uh, well, somebody needs to keep you out of trouble. Speaking of which, there's a pesky Heliobus lurking right here. I'm coming for you. Don't even think about escaping. Boss fight. Don't get careless. Time to burn these ghosts. 